We head now to a fairly unusual case in Auckland where a property developer who repeatedly and brazenly ignored the Resource Management Act has been sent to jail. EQO Lao, also known as Augustine Lao, was already serving a two and a half month jail sentence for ordering native trees to be chopped down. Today he had 15 months added to a sentence after admitting 27 charges under both the Resource Management Act and the Building Act. The experienced environment and district court judge, Craig Thompson, said when it came to ignoring council directions, Lau's offending was basically the worst of its kind. Our court reporter, Edward Gay, was in court and I asked him about the six different properties the case related to. There was one in Flatbush on Ormiston Road, originally had one house on it. Uh, without resource consent, uh, Lau converted that into three flats, that one house. The barn on the property turned that into another two, uh, two flats. And then he had two old classrooms moved onto the property and a weatherboard house. Uh, and uh, with a total, he got a total of eight flats on the property. The rule said he was only allowed one. Uh, four of the homes connected to the existing sewage system, uh, that of course overloaded that system. Uh, and then Lau um, had his own system built as well and that was completely inadequate. Um, the sewage actually spilled out of that system and onto a slope just above a stream. The council moved, actually they moved, they had toilets moved onto the site for the tenants that were living in these flats. Um, and Lau continually, um, was, was continually continually told by the council to get these tenants out. It wasn't safe, you know, there were massive health problems. Um, he actually at one point told the council workers that he was trying to fix Auckland's housing problem. Right, uh, another way he was trying to fix Auckland's housing problem presumably was using uh, asbestos contaminated soil as fill on some of these properties? That, that's right, one of these properties uh, he um, he brought in contractors to uh, to, to level out, using, using landfill, level out a, a sort of platform for another building. Um, this is in Otahuhu in, in South Auckland. Uh, he had 900 cubic metres of this landfill built to the site, uh, brought to the site, sorry, again no resource consent. Uh, uh, council continually issued notices to stop work. Uh, more fill was actually brought in after the council issued those notices. Some of that landfill, that the council brought in uh, contractors to have that landfill tested for, you know, things like it was close to a waterway. Um, they had geotech reports done on it and things. They actually tested that landfill and found it contained asbestos, and that it, asbestos had been um, um, compacted into this into the site. Um, another property at Paremaremo Road, uh, north of Auckland in Albany, uh, that, that had a house on it that was converted into three flats. Garage was turned into another flat and a relocated house was brought onto the property. Um, that brought the total dwellings on that property to nine. And again, uh, the, the local rule said only one house without resource consent. Um, again, more sewage leaks above a stream. Um, and uh, he also, on that property, he also cleared a thousand square metres of native bush as well. Um, a house in Mount Albert, again, another example, that was converted to six flats. No fire um, safety taken into account. Resource consent, uh, had resource consent for a house and a single kitchen. In fact, there were six flats um, on this property. The council inspector who visited at one point, Lau told that uh, council inspector that actually the five tenants just shared one barbecue. But after a search warrant of that house, it showed that all the flats had separate wow, kitchens. this is kind of nutty stuff. The judge described it as gross offending. It's really unusual to see such a term of imprisonment for RMA offences, right? It, it but is. this guy was just taking the proverbial, wasn't he? I mean, normally RMA offending it, it's normally met with a fine. Um, but, you know, Judge, Judge Craig Thompson said he needed to send a clear message, not just to Lau, but to, to others as well. He said the council had issued countless abatement and infringement notices to Lau. All of them had been ignored. He said Lau's offending was all for financial gain. The offending happened over years. It was premeditated. Judge Thompson said it was difficult to conceive of more serious offending in this area. Lau's already serving the sentence of two months and two weeks for having uh, native trees chopped down on another property. Um, he, he appealed that case actually to the Court of Appeal and the Court of Appeal dismissed that appeal and actually said that 
if anything, a, a stronger sentence was justified. Lau's wife, Jian Wen Mao, also faces charges, lesser charges, um, but uh, she is uh, yet to file a full report into her financial situation, and uh, Judge Thompson said that he wanted to see that financial report before he sentences her. Our court reporter, Edward Gay.